being a scientist yourself and a technologist to being a policy maker how has practicing science changed in these two aspects from vigyan to vigyan bhavan so the point is that policy for science or science for policy has to be quite uh, it's a very important these are important themes it has to be also done with the full picture of snt and innovation ecosystem in a country it cannot be done in isolation it cannot be that some people only do science and technology hardcore and some people do policy no it has to be a, uh, a very organic mix of this now when scientists come to the policy domain they bring the same rigor of science even in policy making it has to be evidence based policy making so it cannot be just uh, uh, hypothesis only if there are hypotheses can we verify those hypotheses in our own uh, methodology so science is nothing but a way of thinking science is a way of life and science tells you how to do a rational picture of anything so if you apply that to policy that's equally good So what do you think is an ideal uh, scientific ecosystem for our country to flourish in science and technology? See the point is both have to, science and technology has to lead to innovation and it has to serve the uh, general public because most of our funding is coming from taxpayers money. There is no question. Very small private money. Now taxpayers have a right to know what has happened to that money. so we have to have a correct mix of basic science or fundamental science as you call it and how it can be applied to public good so both have to go hand in hand it's not like these are the three pillars i call four pillars science technology innovation and education all four are equally strong pillars which have to be taken together